It's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host brother Oscar York The Voice, on your Spreaker platform, where are we chatting about the Word and from the Word, putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. Good morning, good morning, good morning. God's grace and mercy. God's grace and mercy brought us through. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, my friend, it is just a joyous time. To be in the Lord on this wonderful, wonderful morning. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, it is. It's just a good time to be in the Lord and to be blessed. And he woke us up this morning, you know, to another beautiful, beautiful day. Oh, my friend, the grace of God. If it would not be for the grace of God, I can only fathom where you and I will be this morning. Amen, amen. The grace, the grace of God. Oh, man. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you ready to rejoice? Aren't you glad that the Lord woke you up this morning? And I'm talking about we don't miss out of heaven. We don't the top soil and not the soil on top of us. Praise the Lord. And as I keep saying, it's just a blessing just to wake up this morning and be able to get up out of our beds and to have our coffee and donuts or whatever. And to be able to just get up and see another sunny day. Amen. And amen. And I'm actually doing me a favor, and I know you know what it is. Go on and have your favorite morning drink, uh, coffee, tea, milk, juice, chocolate, hot chocolate, whatever it may be. We're not talking about the hard stuff now. Don't take out the hard stuff if you have it. As a Christian, you just throw it away <laughs> if you're asking Brother Oscar. But don't relax. 
get your into your reclining chair, you relax there, or at your dinette table. But we want to ask you while you're sitting or reclining, relaxing, get out your Bibles. Open your Bibles and open your mind as we travel through the pages of inspiration. Are you ready this morning, my friend, to study the Word of God along with Brother Oscar during our chat time? Are you ready? Are you ready? And we hope that you are. We hope that you hang in there through the entirety of the program so that you can hear the chat today. Of course, we're doing a continuation. But again, we're so delighted to be with you and to spend the morning with you. And we hope that you are just as delighted. Oh, my friend, you live in Dayton, Ohio, as I do. The weatherman says it is 52 degrees and sunny. And it looks like we are going to have another beautiful, beautiful day here in the Dayton, Ohio area and the surrounding areas and other places in Ohio. So, Ohio, we are some blessed people to have some beautiful weather, and not just blessed to have some beautiful weather, but we got a Christian. We have the opportunity. Uh, we have the opportunity to be with the Lord. Are you a Christian? Are you with the Lord this morning? Well, I hope that you are. I hope that you are and that you recognize it's the Lord that woke you up this morning. Not the long clock, not no man, not even Brother Oscar. But it was the Lord who created this day for you and for me. Amen and amen. My friend, if this is your first time listening to us here on Chatting for the Word, we want to welcome you to the program, and not just only welcome you to the program, but we would love to honor you on this program today, thanking you for having your ears on. Amen and amen. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen and amen. And my friend, if you love what you're listening to, share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbor. Tell them about us here on Chatting from the Word. And also with your Facebook buddies. Share with your Facebook buddies on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, no or whatever, <laughs> wherever you are on the internet. Share our program. Allow the world to know that Jesus Christ is alive and he wants them to be in his body and in him this morning. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. And my friend, if you believe that the gospel of Jesus Christ is important to get out to the world today, help us out here on Chatting from the Word to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Look around you. Look what's going on in the world. Look at the messed up minds of people today. Even on the religion front, uh, they all confused. So help us here on Chatting from the Word to spread, to spread, to spread the truth of God's Word. And if you can help us financially and turn in your contributions, it would be a beautiful thing. And we hope that you can do it today. Come on now, turn in your contributions, help Jesus, help the message. Of course, you may say Jesus don't need no help. But through us, through us, the word dwells. And help us get that word out that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. He's our Lord. He's our King. He is our Savior that brought salvation down. So help us get that message out. And if you want to help us financially, we do have a account on PayPal. Just go and pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com. And put in my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle, that's Z as in zebra, E-L-L-E, 
and uh, put in whatever uh, amount you want to, beginning with $5. And we want to thank you in advance for your generous, generous gift. Yes, we do. Amen. And uh, a Amen. All right, we can well, thank you. Yes, we do. Amen. And amen. Brother Oscar, would you love to remind you that you are listening to Chatting from the Word in the morning. And I am your host, Brother Oscar, your little voice on the free current platform where we are chatting about the word from the word and putting the all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. Yes, 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 we are. Amen and amen. We'll be right back after these this message. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, amen, amen. Now when you hear the trumpet sound, it's time for the roll call. Amen, it's time for the roll call. And we just want to give a shout out to those that are listening. But you know what I thought about this? I just hope when the trumpet sound, when you hear that trumpet sound, when Christ come back for his people, for his church, for his saints, we hope it to be for that roll call. <laughs> but we just want to give a shout out to those that are listening to us uh, here on Chatting from the Word, because we do appreciate you listening, and we want to thank you for spending the morning with us, and you all that listen pre-recorded. We just want to thank you also for having your ears on. And we want to start with the great state, the Lone Star State of Texas. They are listening to, and that is Houston and Brennan. Houston and Brennan are listening. And good morning to you, Houston and Brennan. And also the great state of Ohio, O-H-I-O, uh, they are listening to. And that is Columbus. Good morning, Columbus. Thank you for having your, your, your ears on. And also Cincinnati, Cincinnati, we just want to thank you also for having your ears on. Amen. And then there is this small city with the great heart, and that is Miamisburg. Thank you, Miamisburg. For having your ears on, and good morning to you. And then there is the great state of Mississippi, M I S S I S S I P P I, the great state of Mississippi. Uh, they are listening to, and that is Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Good morning to you, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. (laughs) 
and also the great state of Massachusetts. Massachusetts are listening to, and that is Dennis, Massachusetts. Good morning to you, Dennis. And then there is the great state of Arkansas, and that's Pine Bluff, Arkansas. They are listening to, and good morning to you, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And also our brothers and sisters across the waters, across the way, uh, they are listening to, and we appreciate that very much. And beginning with Singapore, Singapore, good morning to you. And also India, India are listening to, and that's Bihar, Madhahi, Pradesh, Mahatra, and Telangana. They are listening to, and good morning to you. Mamawa, Mamawa, Mamawa are listening to it. Thank you, Mamawa, for listening to that us the central region of Mamawa. Good morning to you. And Gaina, Gaina, they are listening to Good morning to you, Gaina. We appreciate you for listening, and that is the Greater Accra Region. <laughs> and my friend, that was your roll call for this morning. Your roll, 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 roll. It is time for our snapshot for today. Our snap, snap, snapshot. Yes, 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 yes. It is time for our snapshot. <coughs> Excuse me. Our snap, snap, snapshot. To allow you to know what you are going to hear here on chatting from the word in the morning. Because we do not want you to waste your time. We want to at least give you something, something to listen to. All right, all right. Yes, we do. Uh, we want to give you something to listen to so that you can walk with that snap, practical, and pop in your Christian scalp today. Amen and amen. First of all, you heard our introductory song, God's Face and Mercy. Sung by Wayne Williams. Amen, amen. All oh, my friends, I can only fathom what we would be if it would not be for God's grace and mercy. Amen and a amen. And our scripture text this morning before our prayer time will be taken from Philippians 1, 3 through 8. That's Philippians 1. 3 to 8 would be our prayer time scripture uh, that we read before our prayer time. 
Amen. And amen, of course, Radiance a cappella. We're going to be singing sweet hour of prayer to get us in the mood for our prayer time. And then our showcase song for today, although we showcased it many of times, and that would be Tiffany Malone. And Sister Tiffany Malone would be singing, Why Me? Why am I so blessed? And we listen to the song. The question should bring back to you. Why are you so blessed? Why did God bless you to wake up this morning? And that's the way we should think about that. Why me? Why me? Why me? Amen and amen. And of course, yes, we are going to chat today. Yes, we are. Although this is a continuation of our chat from yesterday and day before and other times, we are talking about giving. We're talking about giving, the collection uh, for all these things. And of course, this lesson is taken from the first letter that Brother Paul the Apostle wrote to the Corinthian church, the collection for the saints. And we're talking about, and we have the, the part of the chat of the lesson where we are talking about the, the I guess, distributions of funds, or, or why, where should be, who should get paid, or, and, uh, and stuff like that. And uh, we asked the question, should we as ministers, or uh, uh, those that have ministries, get paid to bring programs on like this one that's reaching the lost for Christ? Should we get paid at least something? <laughs> at least give us a dime. <laughs> if you can, should we get paid? And I believe that's the question we asked, left you with on yesterday. And of course, the question is, if if you was Peter and Christ asked you to feed my lamb, feed my sheep, feed my lamb, would you do that? And then we said yesterday that uh, you must have a desire, a desire to teach and preach the word of God, but not only a desire to do it, but the talent also. And that's how you, if you have the talent to do just that, you should be doing it in all the glory of the Lord and the power of his might to do as much as you can for the Lord Jesus to shine on and through you. Amen and amen. And my friend, that was your snapshot of the program today. Your snap, snap, snap shot. Amen and amen. My friend, it is time to get on board this train and ride the gospel news. And if you're ready to get on board this train and ride, line up, line up, and have your tickets out. And since you lined up with your tickets out, all you need to do now is to get on board, get on board, get on board this train and ride the gospel exposure.
This is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that uh, you want Brother Oscar to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to my email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or chatting from the word at gmail.com or you can message me your prayer request, or you can put it on any page that you are listening to the program through, or you can put it on our Facebook page right under my picture on the program. If you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, and of course, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, uh, that is fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. With due respect, your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so, so delighted to do uh, just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word in the morning, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request to us. And as always, we request that you keep your prayers. Those that have been requesting prayers, those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult time, the world itself with the, all the mess and chaos that it has gone through it. And of course, for the Russia-Ukraine situation, and, of course, those who try to teach and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, try to get the good news out there to a world that really needs to hear it. Amen and amen. Of course, pray for Brother Oscar, too. Pray for me as I pray for you. Let's pray for one another. Amen, amen. Of course, again, our scripture reading is coming from Philippians uh, 1, first chapter of Philippians, 
And that is verses 3 to 8. Philippians 1, verses 3 to 8. Brother Apostle, Brother Paul the Apostle, pen these words. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun good a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart in as much as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. You all are my partakers of my grace. For God is my record, how greatly I, I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. Prayer, Paul said, we should pray, pray, pray. Here he thanking the Philippian church of keeping him in their prayers and their thoughts as he prayed for them. And my friend, we need to pray for one another. We, we, we as Christians, we go through some tough times. Temptation, sin, it's all out there. And we are not exempt from temptation. We are not exempt from sinning. We are not exempt from falling. That's why we need to continue on praying that the Father keep us all strong and in the body of Christ. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace as we have a little talk with our Lord humbly and submissively. Are you ready? Our most high God, the father of this and creator of this vast universe in which we live. Father, we come to you this morning humbly and submissive to you. Father, thanking you first of all for watching over us on last evening as we slept and slumber. Father, thanking you for waking us up to another beautiful and wonderful day. We are on this side of heaven. We are on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. Giving all of us another chance to make us own our lives right and to continue on walking closer, closer with you in Jesus. Oh, Father, Father, we thank you for allowing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, to come down on this cruel world to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to connect with you. And he himself taken upon the cross, becoming sin in the no sins, so that our sin may be washed away in his blood. Father, we surely thank you. Thank you for that. And Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that. Oh, Father, we come praying for the world itself. For all the chaos and all the backward thinking that is doing. When it doesn't abide by your principles and your will, Father. But we just pray for those, Father, that want to be in your body, that they have the courage and the severance to be in the body of Christ. And Father, again, we pray for the Russian Ukraine situation. We pray for a ceasement in that. Oh, Father, we come praying 
for those who lost loved ones. We pray, Father, that you comfort them. We come praying, Father, for those who lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who have given their lives in the line of duty. We pray that you comfort their families. Father, we pray for all of our political leaders. Father, we pray that they never make laws forbidding us from worshiping you, but make laws where we all can live in peace and in harmony. Father, we pray for the church once again as a whole. We pray that the church will remain a lit lighthouse leading others to Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray for all their doubts and fears, Father. We pray that you cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't resurface any more. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for this program chatting from the Word, Father. Help us to keep it on the air. Help us to keep on chatting about your Word, which is Christ. And Father, help us with the message today. Help us that we may say something to help someone on their travel to heaven. Oh, Father, 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 as always, we ask that we pray for those that love loved ones. We pray for those that are going through difficult times. We pray, Father, for those that are trying to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father, as always, keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do I pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us, and as always, we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind. All right, all right, time to move on. And we'll be right back with the second part after this message. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are back, we are back with you. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we're so glad to be back with you. This is our second half. Of the program, and we hope that you have kept your ears on long enough to hear uh, the second pro- half of this fine program that we bring to you Mondays through Fridays at 9.30. And as always, we're going to ask you for a contribution because well, we don't ask for that much. Help us out to keep this program on the air. We only ask that you begin with $5, and if you can Turn in your contribution today. We do have an account on PayPal. Just go directly to our PayPal account and put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Again, that's lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to Zelle, that's Z as in zebra, E. L-L-E, and again, put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And we hope that you can do it today. Yes, we do. We hope that you can do it today. Turn in a contribution so that we can keep this fine program going and going. Amen and amen. This portion of the program to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. Of course, you can go to your Play Store and download Spreaker Podcast app, and once you have it downloaded, look up Chatting from the Word hosted by Oscar. Many of our shows should appear. You can listen to show you desire, even today's show. Our other networks we come on is Audrey, Music Download, VLC, Lab, GeoSound, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Alexa Media Player, 
Podplayer.net, Chrome WebView, Bullhorn, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, Cashbox, Podcast Addicts, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. If you are listening to the program on YouTube, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Now back to your brother, Oscar. Hey, 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 I am back. I am back. Thank you, our announcer. Good job, good job. We are so delighted to be with you. Yes, we are. We are so delighted to be with you. And we're going to just give you a reminder. Yes, we do. A reminder. Amen. And a, a man that you are listening to Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spree Curve platform where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting the all important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian walk. Yes, we are. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now it's time. It is that time. For us to play our only selection for the program today. And that's going to be, let me see here, you all, who we going to play here. <laughs> who are we going to, what song are we going to showcase today, you all? What song are we going to showcase? What song we're showcasing today would be, Why Me? Song by Tiffany Malone. And here she is. And I thank you for blessings for all night. You bless me. Yes, you bless me. And I thank you for blessings for all night. Every time I sit and I count up my blessings, I'm overwhelmed at all God he does for me. He's given me life, health, and strength, my friends, my family. And a good and perfect gift supplies all of my needs. So I wonder how it makes God feel when we begin to doubt Him. And we ask Him why do the trials come our way? Say no matter what comes or goes, still God is in control. So whether rain or shine, here is what I have learned to say. Me, why did you wake me up this morning? Me, why is my family doing fine? I know somebody else is hurting deep inside, so I thank for all the blessings from the Lord. I thank you for the blessings from the Lord. God, I love the way you lead, guide, and protect me, even when things don't go the way I think they should. Still, you are my father, and I know you love and care for me. And even the trials of life are working for my good. But then I realize that there are those who don't even know you. They don't know about your mercy and your grace. So I wonder to myself, how could you save a friend like me? 
That's when I smile and then I lift my hands and say, I say, one How did your grace and mercy find me? me? Why do I have a burden? Yeah, you see, I know somebody else don't have to see some Gotta thank you for your blessings from on high. Your blessings from on high. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I saw a man when he was born. He didn't even have food to eat. I saw a boy from out on drugs. A girl on the corner pulled him down so Somebody tell me who's gonna take the time. Make a difference in their lives. God, is it me? I think I finally realized. Yes, I know the reason why. I see just why you woke me up this morning. You want to use me to try and change somebody's life. You bless me. That is the reason for our blessings from the Lord. I so God, please use me every day of my life. The only reason you are the reason for our blessings from the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. That was uh, Sister Tiffany Malone. And she, in the song, as she was singing, she was asking the question, why me? Why am I so blessed? And the way she turned the camera on herself, if I may say that, but also on us too. Because she's asking the question to herself, in a song, we should ask the question to ourselves as well. Why are we so blessed? Why did God wake me up this morning? Why did God give me a place to live, a roof on my head, and food in my stomach, and clothes on my back? Why God made me a million and a trillionaire? But you know what, my friend? Those million trillionaires, and those that are making the big money, they are the most stingiest persons in the world. Yes, they are. That's why they have billions and millions. Because they don't want to do nothing for nobody. And when they finally do something, they say, well, it's a tax write-off. Oh, my friend, that's why, oh, that's why we need to stay in prayer for this world in which we live in. But, my friend, if you are blessed to help someone this morning, help them. Because you know what? If we don't help them, how can we expect to make it to heaven? How can we expect to make it to heaven if we know someone who needs help and don't help them? Amen. How can we expect to go to heaven? We just pass up people that need our help. We can't make it to heaven with that mindset not to help nobody. Why me? Why did I wake up this morning? So that you may be a blessing to others. Amen. And a amen. All right, all right, all right. Where are we? Where are we? We'll be right back with the chat after this uh, message. Here is our brother Oscar with the chat. The collection for the saints. Let's give continues. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. 
And we hope that so far you've been enjoying the program up to this point. And this is where we chat with you on the program this morning. And we hope that you have your Bibles open and that you have your mind open so that we can study God's Word to truly see what God himself has to say. Not what we are saying. Not what Brother Oscar is saying. Not what your preacher in the pulpit says, and you believe he has proven his point. But my friend, if he does not come from the Word of God, he has not proven anything what Christ says if he does not come from the Word of God. And you know what? Most of us, most of us, we're going to be lost because we're listening to the wrong voice. Most of us, and let me repeat this, most of us are going to be lost because we are listening to the wrong voice. And yes, I turn, when I look at my Facebook page, just glancing, or uh, uh, YouTube and other stations, uh, networks that I listen to, I, I hear uh, all the time false teachings that's going on when it comes to the Word of God. And I think sometimes the, the, the brothers or sisters, now it's a sisters now, that's on there preaching false doctrine, they don't know it's false because they have been trained that that is right. And most, when they are trained in something that's wrong, that's right, usually that person is using the Word of God. And that's why we need to listen to someone that knows God, that knows the Word, and that's dedicated to preaching the Word. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Now, don't get Brother Oscar wrong. I'm not perfect. That's why I need the grace of God every day to help me. You just don't know. I talk to God all the time. I say, Father, forgive me. And I, I'm up front with God. God's, I tell God my sins. I, I tell him, help me with this sin. If I'm having problems in that sin, I say, God, help me. You know I'm weak. I need to. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Because you can't hide nothing from him. Even when we think. When we think about sin, you can't hide that. So you might as well tell him, hey, I'm weak. Help me. I need my, your help. I need your strength. Not saying you're not going to fall. But when you fall, get right back up. If you fall, get right back up. <laughs> Ask the Lord to give you help. Help. Give you some strength to fight this thing. Because it's a fight. It's a fight. It's a battle. Paul says it's a battle between mind and soul, mind and soul and body. It is a battle we as Christians go through every day. Now when Satan has you, it's not a battle with you. Say if Satan has you wrap up believing something is wrong, now I'm not a struggle with you because Satan has you already. But when we are struggling with something, I mean, we know it's wrong. Hey, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But let me say this, and I'd be amiss if I don't say this. Here on Chatting for the Word, we just don't teach. We just don't preach. But what we do here, we chat about the Word of God. And we hope that it's all right if we chat with you about the Word of God, trying to reason with you when it comes to His Word. Yes, Brother Oscar recognized that some people you can, just can't reason with. And, uh, and that's a fact. But I hope this morning that I can reason with you. I hope this morning that you have your Bible open and your minds open to receive the engulfed words of God, we hope that it is you that understand. It, been, it might be many out there that rejecting what I'm saying. I say, well, Brother Oscar, I need to see a psychiatrist. He's gone crazy the way he's teaching and what he is saying. But I must say, I'm not perfect. But what I'm saying, it is from the Word of God. And I say on the show every morning, if you see something that I have said wrong, contact me. 
But if you want to prove something that I said is wrong, have book, chapter, and verse of the Bible to prove your point. Now, the commentary, uh, not something that's your preacher that you hold in high esteem has said, not something mom and daddy or grandpa or grandmother have talked to uh, uh, down the years, but what is contained in the Word of God. And that's what I'm coming from. I'm coming from the Word of God. And many might disagree with what I'm saying today about collection. But what we want to do, and I thought about this, although we are in left off in John 21 with that question that might be bottle, bottle, uh, mind blowing <laughs> to a few of you. But I ask the question, should ministers be supported? Uh, should ministers be supported? And uh, most may think, well, I, I, he, he's not my minister. Why should I support him? He says out there teaching, preaching the word of God. Well, he's doing not important. Or uh, it's just his hobby. If you look at the Word of God as not important, if you look at the Word of God as just a hobby, I, I feel for you. I feel for you because Jesus Christ should be the, the number one person in our lives and on our minds. And if I'm looking at this as just a hobby, I feel sorry for me. Because it's not just a hobby. It's my life. It's my life to get on this program and talk to you about the Word of God. Now, as I said, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. And so all you can do is give me effort for trying. All I can do is give you effort for trying and to teach God God's Word. But this morning, what I want to do, because I noticed as I was checking uh, the ratings and stuff, people just not, some people are just not listening. And I would like to say to y'all that's not listening or have tuned me off, don't do that. Don't do that. Give me a shot. Give God's word a shot. And like I said, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, prove it to me. And you have not done that. Prove it to me that I'm wrong. Don't 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 leave a message and say you're crazy, Brother Austin. You need a psychiatrist. Prove to me, prove to me that I'm wrong by what I'm saying. And of course, yesterday we uh, left the question: Should ministers get paid? Should programs like this be supported by the church or individuals? And well, let's go back to. Uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 16, and, and, and read that again, because many of us, uh, and if I can say this, many of us have been programmed, uh, if I may use the term, to believe what Paul is saying here is a whole different ballgame. Some believe that he's just talking about the collection on Sundays of when we collect when we get together. Although he is, but some believe that that collection that we collect on Sundays at church should not just, should just stay at that local congregation. But this is not what Brother Paul, the apostle, is teaching. And I'm just doing this as a reminder because many of us are so programmed to believe he's talking about the local work and not other works to be supported. And in verse 3, again, Paul says, And when I come, whosoever ye shall approve by your letters, then will I send to bring your liberality unto Jerusalem. And as we said, uh, the fact that Paul was telling them to collect the money also so that they could have something to give to the ministries at Jerusalem. And that's what he was talking about, not just the local, that local body of Christ, but other churches. And here he 
signify the church in Jerusalem so that they can have something to help their ministries and their people with. We are here to help one another, especially if we are teaching and preaching the truth and, and just to deny a minister uh, uh, help in doing that. Don't you know we are muzzling his mouth? not to preach the gospel, especially if he don't have nothing to preach it with. It hurts the gospel if we are stingy people when it comes to that. Okay? So let's go back to John. John 21. And I gotta say, many people uh, believe ministers should not get paid. But here, John 21 and verse, ooh, let me see here, verse 12. Let's start with verse 12. And Jesus said unto them, Come and dine. Another disciple thus asked him who you are, because they knew the Lord. And, and Jesus then cometh and takes bread, and gives them, and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Jesus showed himself to his disciples. After that, he was risen from, after he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? And here, understand the, the way Peter was thinking. Lord, why wow, are you asking me this? You know I love you. And what Jesus was saying, show that love by feeding my lamb. By feeding my sheep, by feeding my lambs. And here Jesus was very passionate about what he was asking Peter, but he asked Peter three times to do that work. But Peter himself refused it in the beginning by going back to his old profession, which is fishing. Because he was a fisherman, and the others were fishermen with him. And that's where they make their living. And now Jesus is saying, I don't want you to go back fishing. I want you to be about my business and feed the lambs. Feed my sheep. Feed my lamb. What? The word of God. The word, Peter, that I left to you and the other apostles to teach. I want you to teach that. I want you to be fishers of men not fishes of fish anymore. I want you to do this main thing is to captivate the world preaching about me, Peter. But like I said, Peter refused it, didn't he? In the beginning, because he went back fishing and Jesus asked him three times to feed my lamb, feed my sheep. Now feed my sheep Feed my lambs and feed my sheep. And then in verse 17, he says unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, love thou me. Peter became grieved because he said unto him the third time, Do you love me? The question this morning, too. And I believe I asked it on yesterday. Do you love him? Do you love him? Do you love him? And as I said on yesterday, many, if I would stop you walking down the street and ask you, do you love God, what would you say? Yes. Most may say, I love God. And so I ask you the second time, are you really sure you love him? Yeah, I love God. And maybe the third time I might actually might get frustrated and, 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 and wonder why I'm asking you this. But here, Jesus was asking Peter, do you love me? Prove your love. Show your, your love to me by doing the business of feeding the lambs, which is lost souls, the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ. And as you can remember, uh, we went to Numbers 
to show you uh, that then Aaron, the Leviticus priesthood was paid from uh, from Israel that they was not going to have inherited among them are uh, a salary uh, uh, or a make a salary among them but receive a salary from them okay receive a salary from them okay for the purpose of the work in the temple and I believe today the same that ministers should receive a salary, uh, some kind of salary or monies to be able to do the work of the ministry. I really believe that they should work in the ministry. And here Jesus was telling them, his apostles here, that I hired you on a full-time basis. <laughs> I didn't hire you to go fishing. <laughs> If I may say that. But the question is, should we pay our ministry? And as I said yesterday, many of you are asking the question, oh, don't we all, uh, don't God consider us all priests and ministers today? In a way, yes. In a way, no. Because many of us, yeah, we may be able to uh, talk about the Lord and tell others about Jesus Christ, but all of us are not meant to be teachers and maybe teachers, but not uh, preachers or ministers are able to uh, eloquently uh, proclaim God's word. And Jesus knew that he raised, I mean, he trained, and the, and the optive, optive word here is trained, the apostles in knowing his word and able adequately to preach it and to teach it. And now he's asking them to do it, to do it. Show me your love, Peter. And I can say he, he picked on Peter. <laughs> Peter. I guess Peter was getting frustrated. Well, why are you picking on me? Peter, you're the leader. They are following your example, Peter. And if you do it, they're following you. Do it, Peter. Do it. <laughs> and I believe this is why Christ picked on Peter. Thou Lord asked Peter, do you love me more than these? Talking about the fish, because they had been the pulling all the fish. Not the fish he was cooking, because they already had ate on that. <laughs> but the fish that was in the net, they had caught. Do you love me more than your occupation, Peter? Do you love me more than your occupation? I want you to change, Peter. I give you that talent. I gave you that desire to do my will. Do my will, Peter. And as I said, many of us just don't have the talent. Now, many may have the talent to be a doctor, but Oscar don't have the talent to be a doctor, a lawyer, a singer, a performer, a one to get on stage and sing. Boy, if I did, and if I was famous, y'all probably be paying me a whole lot of money like you do the the Jackson 5, or the Temptations, or the Shylikes, or the Stylistics, or the Dramatics, or the Ohio Players. I can go down the line and just name it and name it and name it of uh, people that you will pay a lot of money to hear. But would you pay me the same to come on and talk about Jesus Christ? Because that's my talent. And like being a doctor, if you're a doctor, that's your talent. If you're a lawyer, that's your talent. If you're a supervisor on the job, that's your talent. Okay? So you shouldn't be paid for your talent that you're doing? Should, should you do it? Should. That's your living. That's the way you pay your bills. That's the way you, you know, feed your family. And here Jesus is telling his Apostles, feed my sheep, feed my lambs, feed my sheep. I want you all to be fishes of men and not fishes of fishes anymore. That's the last of the lesson for the day, and we hope that 
uh, we have shared something to catch your attention, and we hope that my plea to you to come into Christ and be in the body of Christ that you do that. Do it today, because we never know when Christ may return for his church, for his people, and for his kingdom. And over time, we have proven that when Christ comes back, he's coming back for his church. And if not in his church, you can't go home with him if you're not in his church. Amen, amen. That's our last thought for the day. And we hope, like I said, that if you have any questions or something, say you can always uh, email me or leave a message or messenger to me. And many have, and I just want to thank many uh, for messaging me and talking with me and and let me know that they enjoy what we're saying and doing here on Chatting from the Word. We'll be right back with the closing after this uh, message. That's all right. Today is Friday. We're going to be back till Monday. And we hope you go to church or West. Go to the body of Christ. Go to the local church of Christ. Uh, make sure it's, it's doctrinal sound. And praise the Lord. Give him that glory and love. He's been given to you, uh, us, all this week. Amen, amen. We pray with you, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, allow be that name. Father, we thank you for allowing us to bring this program to the airways, Father. Father, we just thank you. We hope that we have said something in the message to help someone with their traveling to get to heaven. Oh, Father, we pray for all of our listeners. Father, we pray that you keep them safe and sound. Help them to walk with that snap, crackle, and pop with each step that they are taking. Now, may the grace of God be communion of the Holy Spirit rest through and night with us. Until we meet again, in Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love someone, I love everybody. I'm not a lady, God bless.